Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Um, I'm a naturopathic doctor. People ask me all the time. If you ask a doctor uh, or tell them that you're an, an ND and naturopath, they're going to go, what? They, they never heard of it. A plumber, they know a plumber, but a naturopathic doctor? No, because they don't know anything about health. So I come to you today to tell you about the latest effort to uh, you know, trash veganism and, and tell us why we absolutely have to eat meat. And this is kind of a really good one, if you want to get It's from the, the Telegraph. I'll leave the, uh, the link below. A lot of, you know, I noticed that there's these links, and the, we'll put them in the show down below and everything. They, they don't have a peer, but I'll make sure I do that for this one. Um, and they first, you know, basically it's trashing veganism, and you got to eat meat. So the first thing they say, cult documentaries, cult, it's a cult. Documentaries such as Netflix's Game Changers. So that the Game Changers had Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, and uh, he became a vegetarian or vegan. He stopped eating meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, and he went on. I don't know if he's still doing that diet. I really don't, uh, um, you know, follow celebrities, including people like Arnold. Doesn't matter to me if he wants to be a vegan. Yes, he can absolutely become a vegan and do that, but um, doesn't matter to me what he does. And um, they talk about these meat substitutes. Um, I, you know, that sounds awful, a meat substitute. Yeah, and they're making this stuff um, with some of the weirdest things, the Impossible Burger, Impossible, uh, whatever that is. It's like, it's just soy, and um, I'm very much against soy. And, of course, you go through this um, article, and what, what is the one thing for, for, for protein that is never mentioned anywhere, anytime, it's off the list, they're not going to tell you about it, and that's spirulina and chlorella. Two types of algae, the most powerful foods in the world, and actually, you know, chlorella is an algae, and spirulina is a cyanobacteria, but these are the kings of all superfoods, and these are the two most powerful foods on the planet. Nothing comes close, and they're 60% protein, and the, what I've been using for my protein for 25 years now, I've been a vegetarian 44 years, wow, in October, next month, 44 years. And as you can tell, at the age of 66, I'm just falling apart, not really. Um, I'm doing great. I feel fantastic. I'm clear-minded. Um, I've got a lot of energy. I work out usually about five times a week. I still run a six-minute mile, but not according to these guys. And they always find these people out there. And they, you know, they say this is, you know, you're at risk for, you know, uh, you know, skeletal systems, your bones, uh, your nervous systems. Uh, you're at risk for stroke when you don't eat meat. And it's kind of ironic because they really are trying to make sure we don't eat meat now. And uh, they're making it more and more expensive. And uh, like I have always said for years and years and years and years, um, eat whatever you want. If you like meat, go eat meat. I'm... You know, I just wish people would, uh, you know, stop be getting angry at me because I'm a meat eater or not a meat eater or I promote a vegan diet or I don't, and, but that's what they do. So you got this guy, Dr. Jeff Mullen. I, you know, he's a medical practitioner. We know that. What a shock. What do they know about nutrients? Nothing. What do they know about nutrition? Nothing. They don't learn that. I mean, you got guys like uh, Gundry, Dr. Gundry. You know, nice guy. I've never met him or anything. He seems like, you know, kind of your grandfather type. And uh, But he doesn't know anything. He's a medical doctor. Why would you listen to a medical doctor about nutrition? They have no training in that whatsoever. If, if this guy knows anything about nutrition or health, he learned it from people like me. He learned it from the Internet. He learned it from someone else. They don't teach you that in medical school. They hate it. And so the, this is this little article here in The Telegraph which is called the dangers of veganism. Oh no. So the dangers of veganism is, you know, you don't want to be a vegan because, you know, it's going to it's going to kill you and um, really kind of funny. So um, there's my macronutrients, okay? And then there's something called uh, micronutrients and these macro nutrients and micronutrients are missing in just by eating a, a, a vegan diet, really. Okay, well, so you say, and um, you know, there's just again, it's just like micronutrients, macronutrients. Okay, you know, in other words, food, you know, and nutrients, and uh, little tiny ones. Well, again, I'll go back. These are the two most powerful foods in the world. So, um, you know, they just really tell you the same old story, and I want to be uh, want you to be aware of it. And they, the, the you know, that 
the vegan diet, if you don't do it the right way with these two superfoods in your diet, and it doesn't take a lot. I take a small handful with every meal I eat, and that's all I need, and I feel fantastic. And they just can't seem to discover chlorella and spirulina. Gee, I mean, I, I've written an entire book about them. There's many, many other books. Uh, I've got in my bibliography, in my book, there's probably, I reference, I think, 20 or 30 other books on spirulina and or chlorella. So, and then they drag out, you know, the, 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 um, the celebrities. Like celebrities know, and Miley Cyrus. So Miley Cyrus got on Joe Rogan's podcast and they are the authority now on diet because they're they're you know they're celebrities. I gotta tell you, I um, I really don't have any use for celebrities. I don't follow any of them. Um, they had another one in here I mentioned. I had to go look up the. I, mean, I might might have heard the name, but Anne Hathaway. Okay, she's a celebrity. She's been in movies. So they talk about. How I became a vegan and then I got really weak. And um, and then I just, you know, couldn't function anymore, so I started eating meat again, and I feel fantastic now. All right, well, um, that's just hearsay. That's just one person's opinion. And, of course, we never get to this point, when are we going to find out what the diet was that they were eating? What were they eating? Were they eating grapes all the time? Were they just, you know, were they eating soy? Um, you know, you can definitely, you know do a lot of harm to yourself if you don't get the right amount of nutrients. Now, I live in a diet of raw fruits and vegetables, almost exclusively, and I've uh, been doing that 25 years, gee, and, um, and then I use spirulina and chlorella for my, for my protein along, you know, you, you can survive on these foods exclusively and get all your basic nutrients, so they're the ultimate survival foods on the planet. But, you know, uh, you know, they, they just really drag out this Anne Hathaway, Miley Cyrus, they talk about Arnold, they talk about game changers, and it's just all a, all in an effort to discredit um, the vegan diet. And a lot of people, again, like Anne Hathaway says, I ate a piece of fish and my brain was rebooting. Well, <laughs> what is that? I, I mean, what were you eating that you were missing things for your brain? You don't need protein for your brain mainly. It's fats and acids, right? Brain is fats and acids. So you need a lot of omegas. And uh, I will remind you that there is absolutely no nothing in that an, an animal provides to the body you can't get from the plant world um, and uh, you know meat fish eggs or dairy all you're doing is they're a middleman they're eating you know I tell people all the time I've said it a thousand times you know what um, uh, you know somebody says uh, you know I, I'm a vegan and they say oh yeah I'm, I'm a meat eater I said we have something in common and I'm a vegan and all the animals that you eat are vegans because the animals we eat are vegans all of them I mean you know things like a cat is a carnivore and a dog's a carnivore they got the teeth I mean, this guy says you know this, that doctor I mentioned I mean he just says we're just not built for it how do you know that we don't have the teeth for it these are omnivore teeth they're not these are not canine teeth like we you know uh, you know and I'll make one other quick aside um, you know if you were to eat raw meat fish eggs or dairy uh, wouldn't be a problem um, because it's the cooking in the animal protein that really destroys the you know the nutrients and these little peptide bonds between the amino acids that come together to form the protein chains in that animal and then you eat it and then you got to break it down and reform it into human protein um, chains from amino acids well when you use spirulina and chlorella which they don't bother to mention in this article what a shock um, then this is, you know, you, you get all 20 amino acids in the, in the right proportion to one another, the right ratio, and they're, red, they're pre-digested. They're ready to be formed into protein chains immediately. So you look at this article, again, it's in the Telegraph, which is some kind of a, you know, uh, it was from England, it's from Great Britain, and very popular over there. But they tell you about all these health risks, stroke, Vitamin B12. Well, vitamin B12 you can get from here's a cobalt. Okay, this is, happens to be liquid angstrom cobalt and 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 bacteria probiotics. My B12, I you know I haven't eaten meat. I don't supplement with it, and my B12 is very very high. As a matter of fact, I could show you the test results for it. A very very high result. It's, it's great. So what what's the problem? 
I mean, well, the problem is that, you know, they say you're not going to get enough B12. Once again, the animal is producing B12 within their body, and then you're eating the animal. That's all. You're, you're eating that B12. If you ever want to supplement with uh, B12, make sure it's not cyanocobamin. Make sure it's methylcobamin. Now, cyanocobamin is from, uh, has a cyanide molecule in it, and then you've got this. Then you get the cobamin. It breaks off, and then that's your B12. And then methylcobamin is what we make within our bodies. This is a third kind. It's really not worth uh, discussing because it's not any better than methylcobamin, and that's what. Well, when you take cobalt, cobalamin, cobalt, and bacteria, that's all an animal is doing. It's not like that's the only place you can get B12. Um, you can get B12 from, you know, you're making sure you got cobalt in your diet or taking a, 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 a supplement. I love supplements. I talk, talk to you about that all the time. And bacteria, probiotics, I take it every day. Very, very, very important to take probiotics with everything you eat every time I eat something. So uh, they, the, the uh, risk of B12 deficiency, well, it's, it's very dangerous to be low in B12. Uh, yes, I agree. But where you got to get it? Well, you got to get it from meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, or you'll never get it. Well, that's just not true. Um, and it, would I call it a lie? I'm just going to go and say misinformation from these people. They don't know what they're talking about. Uh, it's bad for your bones is another one. Okay, your bones are going to become weak because you don't get enough calcium in your diet. You want to get calcium uh, from, I have, a, I have a formula that I use, which is calcium althreinate, and that gets into the bones. Threonate is an amino acid, so the calcium gets into the bones very efficiently. Um, it's got vitamin B, uh, I'm sorry, vitamin D, vitamin K2, and then something that's called PYG, and that's polyglumate. So that's uh, just really something that builds the bone, bones, and they work very synergistically. And my bone builder is amazing. And of course, at my age, I just had a full workup like in March of this year. I mean, this thing took like five hours for me to go through it. And, and literally, it just came back. All my results are just perfect. I mean, there was there's a couple of anom anomalies. And anytime you have any kind of blood work or anything, that's at that moment. You know, just remember that. You know, you, you, know, you, you should write, test yourself as often as you can because it's more of a snapshot than showing you, you know, maybe you didn't eat something good for breakfast or something like that. So, um and, um, you know, but the idea that you're going to get weak bones from not eating meat, I mean, or fish, eggs, dairy, um, or you're not going to get fat. Well, I get my, but the best fat, fat I eat is probably hemp seeds. Um, you'll get some from spirulina and chlorella, two types of fat in there. You don't need a lot of fat. You need the right kind of fat. Um, and, you know, olive oil is maybe okay, but once again, um, you know, if you just eat a lot of uh, raw fruits and vegetables, Avocado is a good example of having a lot of fat in it. I have an avocado every day. I'm not deficient. My, again, my brain's very clear. I get choline. Choline you can get in eggs. I get that from something called alpha GPC. I won't go into it. But, um, you know, this really gets into kind of something. I've been watching this for 20 years or longer, you know. And your pregnancy, you know, you're going to lose your baby if you don't uh, eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. And the fa famous word comes up with the phrase, this idea of right eating. Eating, you're obsessed with eating. Everybody's obsessed with eating, okay? I mean, it's, it's easy to control the words coming out of your mouth, okay? Because you don't go to grandma's house and start cursing up a, strong, a, st uh, a storm. And it's hard, much harder to control your carnal urges. Uh, and not just uh, do the wrong thing, especially when somebody's not your wife. The most difficult thing in the world is to control what goes into your mouth, okay? What your diet is, what you put in there is really, really hard for people. And I'll tell you that right now. So, they use the term, the famous term, orthorexia nervosa, okay? What is that? That's right eating. So you have this condition. You have this this thing you want to eat right you want to eat right well i've been doing this you can call i want to eat the right thing so now let's just call it some disorder okay how about people who eat fast food all the time what do we call that was that fast fast food nervosa or or junk food nervosa or ortho, orthorexia or what you're obsessed with eating garbage uh sometimes if friends of mine we get together and we watch a football game they eat garbage i mean they're eating popcorn they're eating 
you know, pizza, they're eating, you know, this, the, you know, candies, and it's just, and it's all commercial stuff. It's not any quality to it whatsoever. It's garbage, and they love this stuff. And you know, I and I just will tell you, I, I I love the taste of these foods as well. The idea, if you become a raw foodist, you just don't have a taste for cooked foods anymore. That's not true. You're always going to want to eat some cooked foods, and it's just the way it is. I mean, we crave them. We're addicted to them. Um, but the idea that I want to eat right, well, that's that's orthorexia nervosa. You're, there's something wrong with you. There's something you have a you have a condition. You have a brain condition. Well. Uh, again, uh, that's ridiculous. So I won't go on with this any longer, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, you know, they just this is really dangerous when you don't eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. And quite frankly, I don't, you know, these studies, you know, I always say live by the study, die by the study. Look at me as an example of somebody just eats the right foods. I'll say it one more time. Who cares what you eat? I don't care. I'm not obsessed with it. And but I I'm I'm I don't want to say I'm obsessed with my diet, but I'm obsessed with being healthy. I really am. And um, aren't you? I mean, is anybody you know want to be sick? Hey, I want to hope I get some kind of I hope, I hope cancer comes my way. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants. Boy, I wish I had arthritis and I couldn't move anymore. There's my book. They ignore it every time. I've never heard anybody address any kind. The best chlorel best. Chlorella and spirulina, the best protein sources on the planet, no one mentions it. Well, I'm the chlorella king, and it's got the most amount of protein of any foods. Uh, you know, really, uh, the most amount of nucleic acids, that's RNA you need. Uh, you know, and then, of course, the most amount of chlorella, chlorella, most amount of, of chlorophyll of any food. So this is what you should be eating. And I am, I am the number one guy in the world. I'm the king. I'm the king of chlorella and spirulina just because I promote it more than anybody else. And I wish everybody did too. It's, you know, uh, so anyway, uh, just wanted to let that out for you. Once again, um, you know, the, anti, the anti-vegan articles, the anti-vegan videos, people love to read how I was a vegan and I got really sick because you know I got misinformed and I didn't want to eat animals and everything and then I got uh, I started eating meat and fish and everything and everything Re- my brain will be re- rebooted thanks Anne Hathaway whoever that is again I'm not trying to insult anybody but I don't know who these these are just celebrities don't they make movies or something let them go make their movies quit trying to try, try, tell me you know what's good for, you know this doesn't sit right with me everybody has these little nuances in their diet but we got to have to we always have to listen to um you know celebrities tell us how to eat and what they did and how they failed dr bob i'll see you guys as a vegan next time